It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 26th of January. I'm James Spann. Obviously, the big story was that violent tornado that touched down last night just north of downtown Birmingham, affecting Fulton Dale through parts of northern Center Point. The Weather Service will have a survey team in there to determine the EF scale rating, and apparently that was the only tornado in the entire state last night. But let's move on and talk about today. Here's the upper air look across the country. We still have the trough back in the southwestern states, a cold front pushing now down into South Alabama. That was the radar this morning at 512. Had showers south of a line from near Grove Hill up to Lafayette. Uh, heavier storms over in Georgia. Uh, there's no severe weather in progress this morning. And odds of additional severe weather today fairly low. Temperatures are in the low 50s at Haleyville. Birmingham at 60, and then down to the south, we've got 71 at Montgomery. So no doubt that front is somewhere between Birmingham and Montgomery early this morning, and that will be stalling out later today. Now back in the cold air sector, a lot of snow for much of the country. Much of the west, the northern states, with winter storm warnings or winter weather advisories. But this is the severe weather outlook in the warm sector today. Just a marginal risk for parts of south and southeast Alabama. This includes Baldwin County then up to Greenville and near Phoenix City. The area's in darker green. Could be a few storms later today with gusty winds, maybe some hail. We don't expect a tornado with this activity today. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder for about the southern two-thirds of the state with a wave coming through. And then day three, Thursday, no storms across the country as much of the nation will be in cold, stable air. Here's the precipitation for the next seven days. And again, the really big numbers out in California. The Sierra Nevadas will be slammed with feet of snow. Inland areas, a lot of rain there. And around here, rain amounts about one half inch. And this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. So take a look at modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 06C run valid today at three. Trough lifting out of the western states. And again, the surface front today will be down near US 84 in far south Alabama. So the better chance of showers and thunderstorms, extreme south Alabama. For the northern half of the state, the sky becoming partly sunny today. Uh, temperatures will be close to 70, still very mild. And then tomorrow, rain returns. Uh, we'll probably see rain increasing late tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, don't think we have much thunder, no chance of any severe weather, just rain. And uh, cooler tomorrow. Uh, temperatures could very well fall during the day. I uh, wouldn't be shocked if some locations north of Birmingham dropped into the 40s by afternoon. And notice the chance of a few snowflakes up in parts of Tennessee and Kentucky north of here. Thursday, everything is on by. We're dry and colder. Uh, we start the day around 30. The high will be in the upper 40s. And this is Friday. We'll be in the 20s Friday morning. Well below the freezing mark, the high Friday, mid-50s, the sky will be sunny. As the weekend begins, this is Saturday. Here comes our next system. Clouds will likely increase by late afternoon. The day should be dry, the high close to 60. This is Saturday night at midnight, rain moving in. There could be some thunder here. Uh, any severe weather? Eh, we'll have to wait and see if there's enough instability. It's too early to call at this point. The surface low is over Illinois, but clearly a chance of rain, maybe some thunderstorms Saturday night, and then by Sunday, it's all gone, Sunday afternoon. So with this weekend system, it sure looks like the better chance of rain Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Then clearing Sunday with a high in the upper 50s. Monday, colder. Pretty good pop of cold air drops in, the high dropping back into the upper 40s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 2nd of February, and northwest flow aloft in a cool, dry day for the state. We'll go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 4th, and again, troughing to the west and another surface low over Iowa with an approaching front. That will bring a batch of showers and storms out there toward the end of next week. So we'll check the snow for Birmingham. Snow lovers, this doesn't look good. That's pretty much... Uh, showing a bunch of nothing here for the next 15 days. Rain here, the uh, mean between 2 and 3 inches. And temperatures, you can see the cool down Thursday with a high dropping to 47. We climb back into the low 60s on Sunday, then highs dropping back to near 50 early next week. But as we've talked about, still no sign of any bitterly cold Arctic air for the next 15 days. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 2nd through the 8th of February, showing temperatures here a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.